Uh, basically, when I push this button cleverly hidden out of the view of the camera, it's going to spin the arrow, and it will land on one of 24 numbers equally sized and spaced on this device, and they correspond with a slot in the prize boxes that to this day are still not very well represented on the camera. <laughs> so I don't know where to put them. But basically, uh, I'm going to hold this down, spin this, and we're going to open what we get. Uh, the trading card box only goes up to 20, so if it lands on uh, 21, 22, or 24, we spin it again. If it lands on 23, it becomes my choice, and I'll pick whatever I want out of the out of the box. You might be saying, Draco, why are there 24 slots on the wheel if there's only 20 boxes? And I said, well, because the big box next to the trading cards has 24 boxes, so step off. Um, I'm going to do something real quick that I do every once in a while to... Uh, artificially change the sweet spots on the the, the, uh, the spinner. Basically, there's a motor with permanent magnets uh, in, in it, so it there's about six different hot spots it tends to favor when it slows down in between the magnets, and uh, by picking up the arrow and moving it, I'm just artificially changing where those six spots are on the wheel. Uh, you know, it's the best I can do. I noticed we kept getting the same numbers for a few weeks in a row. I'm like, mm, I don't know, man, that's an anomaly. So anyways, here we go. It also it makes that awful sound, I'm sorry. <laughs> Seven! Are you kidding? Okay, well... Is there something in... What the hell is in number seven? <laughs> Whoa! Hang on, Sheep, thank you for the 100 Twitch pennies, uh, celebrating Flux Umbreon getting it right. I feel like those bits ought to go to him, I don't know how to make that happen though. I'll take them on your behalf, I'll buy a Snickers bar and I'll think about you <laughs> when I eat it. So what we got here, which is actually, this is kind of strange, because the reason why I was like, uh, did, we, did we already do this? Is because, um, we've, we've been getting a lot of these from the Prismatic, which is really weird, because I've had a lot of this stuff in here for years, and it just never gets, we never land on it, and we never get to see it, so I've actually got more original pogs from back in the day these are coca-cola caps let's take a look here five caps per pack you might get a slammer you might not coke caps collect all 40 i'm trying to get this to focus because i need a i need a fucking thumbnail image come on man don't how hard is it to focus on the foil <laughs> this piece of shit camera so this is slammers Plastic slammers give you the edge when playing the game. Bull fucking shit. Everyone knows those aluminum ones is where it's at. Uh, but they gotta be plastic so that you can't just, like, feel the the packages. This one feels slightly heavier, so maybe I'll be right eventually and we'll get a slammer. But, uh, six different slammers randomly inserted at the rate of one per nine packs. Uh, 40 caps in the collection, game rules enclosed, and then a bunch of boilerplate stuff. Uh, about uh, about Coca-Cola. So on this stream, we have opened up original Pogs, the Chrome Caps. That was a couple weeks ago, actually. We've opened up the new Pogs from the reboot from 2006 that were awful. I actually found another Pogs reboot thing when I was at Target. It was a starter set of like 40 caps and a playmat and some shitty slammers. And it was the saddest looking thing I've ever fucking seen. It was on clearance, but it was still, like, $15 on clearance down from, like, $39.99. And I was like, I can't, I can't drop 15 bucks on just one random thing that's, that's this awful that we're going to look at for, like, 10 minutes and I'm just going to, like, disregard. I went back the next day and I kind of changed my mind and then somebody, it, it was either, someone already bought it or it was just moved and it was gone. So, if I can find one, maybe we'll do that. But we had the reboot... We've opened Pepsi caps from back in the day, in case you're wondering where the, uh, the, great, the great divinator, the Pepsi wizard, came from. It came from a pack of, not Coke ones, it came from a pack of Pepsi ones. So, uh, and it just so happens there's Coca-Cola caps too, because everybody was getting in on this. So we got two, two bags, five caps per pack, with the potential to get a slammer, so maybe we get five caps and a slammer, or six caps and there's no, I don't know I don't know how the slammer situation works we never get we've never gotten one so let's take a look at what we got in the coke the coke zone 
the come on, man. I'm trying not to destroy the package. So I still, I might use these for something. God damn it. My hands keep slipping. Can I tear it from the back? Yes. Now this, oh shit. Well, I kind of bent it up, but this is... I was going to say, I thought this was the same card we got from... I still have it. No, I don't. I, yeah, 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 I do. I was going to say, I thought this was the same card we got from the Chrome Caps, but it's it's not. I was a little bit uh, a little bit apprehensive about that. So here's how we play the Milk Caps game. Again, they can't call it a Pog because that was actually a registered trademark of the Pog company, so only Pog could call them Pogs. Everything else called them Milk Caps because that was their generic term. Uh, it can be played by two or more players. Each player contributes an equal number of caps that are neatly organized in a vertical stack. Photos side down on the floor. Uh, players then determine who goes first, second. To play the game, you hit the, you hit the stack with your slammer. Uh, those that are flipped over become the property of the player who flipped them. Uh, you know, play continues until all the stack are overturned. Most importantly, have fun. So this basically tells you the uh, play for keep strategy, which uh, not a lot of people were... Uh, fond of back then i know parents were like oh it's like gambling so i never really did the play for keeps thing with friends but if i did i never actually brought caps i gave a shit about i would always bring like duplicates or ones that i thought were stupid and you know maybe i would walk away with somebody else's caps that were actually like they were dumb enough to use ones that they liked or maybe they were also putting their dupes in there, but they just so happened to have one that I wanted, and you know that's that's how it was. I never I never gambled with any coke caps or not coke caps, any any regular caps that I you know couldn't afford to lose. So, <laughs> Doctor Surgeon guy, come on and slam, and welcome to the milk caps. Uh, so we got some pog caps in here, and I noticed they're kind of already kind of flipped over. So I'm gonna try to, you know, very conveniently, covertly, I mean flip them back over so the first the first one we've got are a bunch of ice cubes in a very 1950s cartoon style just dumping coca-cola on each other <laughs> i guess that's what we in the biz call the brown shower as nine's getting uh-uh come on focus there we go so uh, they're also they're also they're also dumping Coca-Cola on themselves. Coca-Cola the classic, I imagine. Uh, this was back when they were still doing that. In the the swirling vortex dimension, they're just in, a, in some kind of fucking purgatory, and they're <laughs> just dumping <laughs> Fandermon Bukoke. <laughs> next one, next one we got is another ice cube. Another ice cube. Uh, and he's just he's just hanging on to a like slightly it's the same it's the same sort of photorealistic bottle of coke from this. This has gotta be some type of vector from one of their old advertisements or something that they've just that they've you know, they can just copy paste and drop into these digital arts. It's a weird Ice Cube motif. I'm hoping that, like, the next one we get is just Ice Cube the Rapper. So we got an Ice Cube, and the next cap is is just the Coca-Cola logo. This one's all right. I mean, it's got the, the different the different backgrounds, all the different, you know, kind of computer styles. Is there anything on the... Yeah, I figured it's just the... This is just the numbers. I didn't think there's anything on the back. Usually there's not anything on the backs of a Pog or backs of a Milk Cap, I guess I should say. Next one is another Coca-Cola thing, where it's uh, it appears to be another vector of the bottle, in the the Coca-Cola shape, and then you've got the, <laughs> for some reason the the background of this cap is like the fucking Titanic ant from Earthbound, yeah I don't or with Gygus, I guess I don't know you <laughs> you you cannot comprehend the true nature of New Coke's formula I guess is what they're going for here. And then finally, the last one is the very, very super bad dot com looking. It doesn't even want to focus because it's, it's not like the dots aren't solid. They're just fuzzy. This one is very bright. It's very eye catching. You know what I noticed is that none of them say always Coca-Cola, which I think was their their big tagline at the time. They, they wrote a whole fucking song about it. What year is this? 
Yeah, this is 95. That I think that advertisement jingle would have been in full swing. I'm sure you guys are, even if you're too young to remember it, you still know the always Coca-Cola jingle. It, it's it, it's that pervasive. Hell, there's even a weird Chinese karaoke version that we play, you know, when the stream opens sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we got we got 5 Coke caps. And let's open up the second pack and see if we get five more, or if we get a Coke Slammer. A Coke Slammer. What the hell is a Coke Slammer? Like, that's, is, that, is that just another name for, like, a cocaine binge? I think I just invented a new term here. It says, oh yeah, we, uh, you know, so-and-so died after they went on a Coke Slammer. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Next one, another, another rule book, how to play milk caps. And looking in the thing, we don't have a slammer, unfortunately, so... <sighs> someday, someday... <laughs> she... <laughs> the 13 Twitch pennies, always. Oh, wait, hang on. There's more. There we go. There's gonna be one more. I'm gonna... There you go. <laughs> always Coca-Cola. Wait for it. There it is. <laughs> Thank you for the 39... Twitch pennies. This next one, okay, I like this one. It's the uh, it's the bear, and he's skiing, and he's also drinking coke at the same time, and he's got a a really uh, interesting expression on his face. I don't really know. I <laughs> his expression suggests that like he took a sip. He's like, is this that new coke shit? Did you guys fuck with me on this one, or is it? I don't know, man. I didn't. I didn't check the bottle. The label is suspiciously missing from the bottle I'm holding, so I can't see if it says original taste on it. <laughs> also, how do you? How do you? Oh no, he's ice skating. He's not skiing. I was gonna say, how do you ski and drink at the same time? Aren't you holding the the things? The I used to know what those things were called. I've never been skiing, but it's just one of those. It's one of those stupid words that like. You just either know or you don't know. I'm sure you could Google it and be like, what are those things that people hold when they ski? And Google's like, oh, they're called, you know... Let's, let, actually, let's, let's test that myth. What are those things people hold when they ski? Uh, no, Google just says the three main types of skiing are alpine, nordic, and freestyle. Which... Freestyle is also a type of Coca-Cola. <laughs> Take a look at the next one. We got another bear. Are these really random? These... It seems really weird that we get... He's got the same face, too. It's the same... <laughs> I really... I, I love this expression that they're making. <laughs> It's such, it's such a suspicious, it's such a distrustful looking, looking facial expression. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, Fandramon, it is the same face. They drew the face and they saved it as like a, a clip art thing that they could plop into the next one. And the... <laughs> Oh my fucking god it's look who it is again it's the same bear with the same face except this time he's got snowshoes on you gotta coca-cola you're fucking with me now i swear to god if we get five of the same uh, i'm gonna we'll, we'll focus on this one it's the same face except this one's got a, a very very curious angle that we're looking at this bear from I swear to God, if the next one, if the fifth cap in the pack is the, is the bear making the face. Oh, it's the ice cube again. <laughs> we almost had... We almost had a killer combo here. It's actually... We didn't get any duplicates. I thought we got a dupe, but those that's actually two different ice cubes. I can't, I can't look at it without laughing now. <laughs> He has such a goofy ass expression. That's. <sighs> Hang on, let's give me give you guys one more. <laughs> also, yeah, Vandermon, zero out of ten, no seals. 
I'm sorry, but they, I don't think Coke has ever used seals to advertise. It's always it, it has always been those polar bears. I don't think they use them anymore. But the the Coca Cola polar bear was was a thing for some reason. I don't know why. Also, Marley, this is unbearable. I mean, it's not unbearable. We got four bears. I'll I'll pick out. I'll do I'll do my usual thing of of picking <laughs> picking out my favorite ones. So. Uh, I don't like the Ice Cube guys. I don't know what they're from. I don't know if they're from a certain marketing campaign that I just don't remember or whatever it was, but I'm not big on those. When it comes to the... Okay. When it comes to the ones that just say Coca-Cola with, like, a logo on it, uh, objectively, I think they're all kind of cool, but if I had to pick one that really invokes the the feeling the spirit of like artwork from pogs from the era i'm going with the one in the middle that's got the four like the the four-way background it, 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 i don't know it's got like a very vector man video game title screen kind of vibe to it uh, it's a really specific reference but I, I don't know it's got that aesthetic that was kind of associated with like that that weird pseudo techno you know kind of grunge at the time so i'm gonna hang on to that one for now and then since we basically got four of the same bear uh, <laughs> so we got four of the same bear. The the two of him that look like they're merit badges. I'm I'm not. I don't know. His face is too small. We're not getting the money shot. I'm not interested in that. And then out of these two that's left, I think the one where he's wearing the red ice skates is the better because he just has a funnier pose. Like he's 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 coming at you, and he's got that face. He's just he's just coming to get you. And out of these two. If I had to pick a favorite, it's gonna be the bear, just because I think we got ourselves a new goddamn emoticon. If I have to, if I can find room for it uh, out of out of the fifty we've already got, <laughs> I just I, I like his face, and I like the fact that his face is on all of the other pogs that have the polar bear on it. It's like the artist drew the face the face once, and he's like, I I, I don't know how to draw a bear. I hate this shit. I'm gonna, that's the only way I know how to draw a bear, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna use the magic wand tool on this, and I'm gonna drag this onto a separate layer so that I can just, you know, doodle a, a fat body for the rest of them, then just drop the head right on in whatever pose he's in. <laughs> There's a story behind this one. <laughs> so I really like the. I really like his expression. If we didn't get if we didn't get these weird ass bears, I probably would have just said. Coca-Cola with the, you know, crazy four-way background. Yeah, Marley, I, it's what I, call, I don't know why four-way background. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say with that, but you guys know what I mean. But this bear, I think, is the, is, the, is the funniest thing I think I've seen in a while. Just because of how absurd it was that we got four of them and they're all making the same face. Like, let me give you guys one more for the road. <laughs> He's coming to get you. You want a Coke? You want a Coca-Cola? Try the new Cinnamon Coke coming out. I heard that's going to be a thing. Thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Either way, your feedback is appreciated. And you can also subscribe to Gatorbox if you like this content and want to see more of it from us. Catch us live Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox or streamlabs.com forward slash Gatorbox.